Hello friends and my dear students as in the subject of product design and launching we are going to discuss today what is the robust design okay so as you all know a system a product or process is robust if it performs properly in a wide range of conditions okay wide range of conditions means in various conditions like a robust products like a pen that writes until the ink is empty okay the pen that stops writing after a few months those pen will not be counted as robust so the products that are not robust okay a car that starts at minus 20 degree which is the optimum temperature at which uh, car can start or the minimum temperature at which car should start a car does that does not start then that product is not that car is not counted as robust product okay a vacuum cleaner that maintains suction levels okay so that will be counted as robust product a vacuum cleaner that loses suction okay that will not be counted as robust okay so this is the list of the product which are robust this is the list of the product which are not robust you can also find out various such kind of products in your daily and real life so list it down for your sake of convenience now what do you understand by robust design in the design of a new product any design activity can be called robust if it leads the product okay to have a longer life or high reliability okay so means the product which are having long, longer life or having very high reliability those will be counted as robust design to be more consistent with the use means whenever you are using the quality of the product should not decrease to be more consistent from product to product means either one pen or another pen of the same company or same quality should work consistently okay to perform consistently as temperature and other conditions change okay if there are some certain changes in the conditions then also your product or service should perform consistently that is these are the parameters of robust design which we have to encounter or which we have to take care of whenever we are designing a product or designing a product on the basis of robust design okay now there are some general rules for the robust design always identify critical parameters which are also called as ctqs okay critical terms or critical terms to qualities okay that quantify customer satisfaction what are the critical parameters which will satisfy the customer need okay so you have to find it out what are those ctqs always look for ways to reduce variation in ctq what are the variation in the ctqs that you have to look after so if you are ready with the ctqs of your product or service then you can start your robust design maintenance or robust design performance okay so let's see what is the history behind this robust design is a concept developed by dr g taguchi okay so taguchi sir has been developed this robust design it is defined as reducing variation in various product characteristics which is also called as ctqs okay or critical parameters of product so you have to reduce the variation in those ctqs in other words making the product or process insensitive to variation means whenever some variations are there your product or process quality or characteristics should not change this variation sometimes called as noise can come from variety of factors means ultimately you have to reduce the noise okay so if you will reduce the noise then your product will be more robust okay let's see what kinds of noises are there so three types of undesirable uncontrollable factors can cause deviations so sometimes called as noise from the desired performance of the product or service means there are some undesirable or uncontrollable uncontrollable factors which you have to consider whenever you are designing a product on the grounds of robust design okay first is external noise factor which is operating environmental variable such as temperature humidity are example of external noise factor means whatever environmental variables are there those will comes as external noise factor which you have to count 
whenever you are designing a product on the grounds of robust design next is internal noise factors the problems caused by deteriorations such as wearing of parts manufacturing imperfections like machine setting etc means whatever internal factors are there either manufacturing imperfection or deterioration such as wearing of parts these will comes under internal noise factor which also you have to count it whenever you are designing any product or service on the grounds of robust design next is unit to unit or variational noise factor it indicates the difference between individual product which are produced to the same specification means suppose if you have produced a vehicle which should run at 200 2000 rpm and another same vehicle you have produced which runs at 1800 rpm then you you should not say that these two products of the same family are of same robust design the design is not called as robust means whenever you are manufacturing n number of same item those all should work on the same efficiency or same quality or same specification then they should work on the same customer satisfaction okay so that is called as unit to unit variation which you should also take care of whenever you are designing on the grounds of robust design okay so taguchi suggested a robust design method which is a systematic method for identifying process parameters or called as ctqs critical parameters that are most sensitive to inherent process variation and minimize the effect of cause of variation which is noise okay so which are most sensitive and with the help of that you can minimize the noise okay and the primary goal of robust design is to evaluate these losses and effects and determine the process conditions that would assure the product manufactured is initially on the target and characteristics of product which would make performance insensitive okay to the environment and other factor other noise factor means those should be insensitive to the other noise factors as well okay so there is a robust design method which was suggested by taguchi that we will see in the upcoming sessions that how we can designing performance into product okay so we'll see this robust design method in the next session so till then thank you so much for patience hearing and stay tuned with engineering college banswada youtube channel for more such content in different engineering domains mechanical electrical civil and computer science and engineering thank you so much and stay tuned with us for more such updates and we'll discuss this robust design method in the next session or in the next lecture of this series of product development and launching thank you so much